Okay, so for the following circuit here, uh, we have to solve for i, and I can immediately see if I could like sum up all these impedance values, then I could just uh, quickly solve for i uh, using uh, dividing you know the voltage towards overall or impedance values. But the thing is, this portion of the circuit is what's messing this up. Like, how am I supposed to find the impedance equivalents like for this portion? So what I'm gonna do is do the following. I'm gonna uh, Ignore the, I'm just going to focus on this portion of the circuit. So let me add up all the impedance values that we've got. So I can add these two up quickly. So it'll be 2 minus uh, 4j. Then I have this one. And then I have this one. Okay, I can't add these two up because, you know, they're connected to uh, some other sources that we're ignoring for now. Now, I'm going to try and make this look like a triangle. Okay. So 2 minus 4j. Okay. So this was this is 4j and this is 8. And obviously, this part we're going to connect it here. This part we're just going to connect it here. And then this part we're going to connect it here. All right, so this is still the same circuit. Now, I'm gonna do this. So, inside this, I'm I want my so pretty much I want to change this circuit and make it look something like make it look something like this instead. Okay. So this is the uh, triangle to Y transformation. Uh, so. If I can find what the impedance values will be for these uh, uh, inputs, then I could replace this portion of the circuit with uh, the white portion. So I'm going. So my job right now is to find this white portion. So let's call this Z1, Z2, and then Z3. So let's solve for Z1. It will be equal to uh, so the bottom part, we just add up all of our impedance values. All right. Now the top part, the top part is the tricky part. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here and see what impedance value is directly below us. And we see there's an 8 ohm impedance value directly below it. See, if we go down, that's directly below it. So that means we're going we're gonna to ignore that for the top part. The top part, we'll just do 2 times 4j times you know, 4j again, okay? And then putting all of this into your uh, calculator, and we're going to solving it manually. Let's see what we get. So just give me a quick second. All right, so I get 1.6 for the real part, and, and then plus 0.8j. Okay, for the imaginary part. So that's what this portion is equal to. Now let's do Z2. I see the 4J is directly below it. So on the top, it will be 8 times uh, 2 minus 4J. And on the bottom, it's 2. Oh yeah, these two just cancel out. So I just do 2 plus 8 here. So let me see what this will be equal to. All right, so it's 1.6 plus, sorry, minus 3.2j. And now, finally, for the last part, z3. So, so uh, I see directly below it, or in this case, above it, I guess. Uh, it's the 2 minus 4j. That's uh, in the direction of the arrow, so we'll ignore it. So it'll be 8 times 4j all over 10, okay? Or just two plus eight. So that's 3.2J, which is at three. So now let's go back to our circuit and let's redraw it. So we'll just uh, put this here put this here and put this here 
z1 uh, i'm going to do it in my instead z1 was hold on 1.6 plus 0.8j uh, z2 was 1.6 minus 3.2j and right, we're just going to move this wire more to the side and this is 3.2j for z3 all right all right so this portion of the circuit is now done now we just connect everything else to it Uh, we can add these two together so it will be 8 plus 6j all right now there we go and then oh yeah and this uh, this capacitor it was minus 3j and then this was 12 ohms okay so these two we can just quickly add them up so 1.6 plus 8 uh, that gives me 9.6 plus 6 minus 3.2 that's plus 2.8 J so uh, that's what you get after combining these two together so I'll just quickly replace that with th this value okay now I'm gonna combine these two so 3.2 minus 3 J so sorry 3.2 J minus 3 J that's uh, 0 0.2 J and then let's combine these two so 12 plus 1.6 that's 13.6 and obviously I can't combine anything else so it'll be 13.6 plus 0 0.8 J all right and let me just change this wire to be all the way up here all right now uh, we see these two they're in a uh, parallel so to so to combine them it'll be like this and let me see what that gives me Sorry, uh, give me a sec. I think I might have made a quick mistake. So just give me a. Uh, so just bear with me here. All right. So for the real part, I get zero point zero zero three seven nine. And for the imaginary part, I get zero point one nine. 88 all right so that's what i get after combining these two together oh wait sorry i uh, it should be here not there my bad so that's what i gave when combining those two together then i'll just add this and this together so it'll be 13.6 plus 0 0.00379 that's just 13.603 plus 0 0.1988 plus 0 0.8 so that's just a 1 or just j so we'll redraw the circuit to be like this that's 13.603 plus j and we're looking for the current here and we're given uh, the voltage source in phasor format let's turn it into uh, so let's get the real and, co and complex numbers from here or imaginary numbers whatever so it'll be fi fi 50 cos 0 plus j 50 sine 0 so this is just 50 plus 0 so it's pretty much just 50 so we'll re remove that now we know V is equal to I times the impedance. So V over Z will give us our I value. So V is 50 all over Z, which is 13.603 plus J, which will give you our I value. 
So let me see what this gives me. I get 3.655 minus 0.2687 J. Okay, and to turn this into phasor format, uh, you just get the magnitude of these values. So 3.655 squared plus minus 0.2687 squared and square root all of this. Uh, give me a sec. That gives me 3.665. Then it's phaser. Well, it's a, then, then to get the degree, it'll be 10 inverse minus 0 0.2687 all over 3.655. So, that gives you a degree of minus 4.206, oh sorry, 5, okay? And this is in amps. Alright, so there's your answer.